Electrical and computer engineering is by far the broadest possible degree you can get. Uh, so, for example, you can work as a biomedical engineer with a double E degree, whereas it's kind of hard to work as an electrical engineer with a biomedical degree. Uh, the same thing could be said of mechanical engineering and civil and environmental engineering, for example. Electrical engineers are extremely broadly educated and the education focuses on training you to think and solve problems in a very explicit, specific way with a lot of structure. My name is Daniel Vanderweide. I am a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I teach and do research in circuits, wireless systems, applied electromagnetics, and bioelectromagnetics. We have two separate programs, one in machine learning and signal processing that allows students to focus specifically on machine learning and signal processing, while the professional program is a little bit more flexible and is designed to let students choose a focus area like embedded systems or networking and security, wireless applications, electric machines and drives, or power systems. Students who would have, be a good fit for these programs are students who are prepared to dive in with full concentration and not too many outside distractions like outside work because these are intensive programs that run on very tight schedules. Uh, that said, they prepare students for a lifetime of satisfying careers in a wide range of fields with greater earning potential than they would certainly have as bachelor's degree students. Well, many of the various career paths that graduates have chosen um, include satisfying work locally, like in Madison, regionally in the Midwest, or nationally and internationally. Remote work is now enabling many to decouple their location from their career. So, these paths include everything from manufacturing to research and development, sales, management, and even research and teaching faculty at a wide range of institutions. Well, faculty and instructors engage with students in a variety of formal and informal ways throughout this accelerated master's program. Uh, we have individual meetings with students, consultations with prospective students. We help guide them through the program and chart their course so that they can get through in the requisite time. I've learned a lot of things from the students in our master's program. I've learned how motivated and energetic and well prepared they are. I'm always impressed with the level of preparation and the level of dedication that they are bringing to this program. They're really turned on by the greater learning potential beyond the bachelor's degree and they're completely aware of the advantages of a graduate degree in enabling their careers to go longer and, and, and earn better pay. The Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Wisconsin is unique in that it is a top 10 research program in the U.S. News and World Report for public graduate programs and 25 members of our faculty have received an NSF Career Young Investigator Award and more than 20 percent of our faculty are female. Uh, we continue to have a more diverse student population and faculty population uh, every semester and we're extremely proud of the energy and the flow and the ability of our faculty to interact with students on a daily basis in a variety of ways. So we have a great spirit going in our department and we're looking forward to having you join.